It's dress rehearsal time for Elwood City Area School District's annual musical. This season, students are bringing the classic film The Wizard of Oz to the stage for its 75th anniversary. We thought it would be a great year to sort of resurrect um, a classic. It's a lot of fun, but we really choose our shows based on the kids that we have. And so uh, we do like a workshop in the summer. All the kids come in and we audition several different shows and we choose the show based on the characters. Joseph Cortez plays Scarecrow, Dorothy's first friend on her journey. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. It's very me. We'll put it that way. Um, I'm a very funny guy. I can be serious, but on the other hand, I'm mostly, I smile a lot and I like to be happy. And the Scarecrow is perfect because he does the same thing. And these particular kids fit the Wizard of Oz really, really well, um, as you can see from what they're doing on stage. So they just really fit naturally into the characters, and that's why we chose them. We're both clumsy. We're both that stupid funny guy who everyone's going to laugh at. But you're going to get along with him no matter what. And that's, that's what I like about him. He's, he's a really nice guy. He's very innocent. You don't have to worry about me. As long as I keep my legs well stuffed, I can walk through the Emerald City no matter what take him in up top. He's a lot of fun. He keeps all the smiles perked up. He'll put in a joke or two. Probably not as like comical as the lion, but he'll still stand up when it needs to be there. Like during the poppy scene when he goes, he's trying to keep everything together, but nothing's really working. He still wants to help Dorothy no matter what, he, no matter just whatever he can do. I play Dorothy, and I I really like her because she's a lot of fun to play because. She, she's just a little girl, but she does so much, and she goes through so much, and she really goes deep into some things. She realizes a lot of things about life in this show. The Wizard of Oz is, it's, it's very fun. I'll, 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 it, it'll, it'll make you happy no matter what. It's the Wizard of Oz. You have flying monkeys, a witch flying on a bubble, I get set on fire. It's just, it's perfect. It's a good, good, good story of be thankful for what you have. Dorothy reacts to everything very exaggeratedly. You have to really overact, especially because you're on a stage. So it's hard to keep up the energy throughout the show. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. My house dropped on her. You dropped your house? energy, a lot of special effects, and the kids work really, really hard every day. They've been perfecting their singing and their acting skills, a lot of enthusiasm and high energy, so I think it's going to be a great show. From The Wizard of Oz, you can expect, you can always expect a good show because everybody knows the story, there's nothing to confuse anybody in it, and you can follow it. And even though it's the same old story, it's always different because it's different people playing it. And so you get different interpretations of the characters. Tickets are $12 for adults, $10 for students and senior citizens, and $6 for everyone at Saturday's matinee. Reporting from Elwood City, I'm Amanda King for the Newcastle News.